Hi, this is Arianne with Love Me Not, and today I'm going to teach you my secret to that perfect boutique hair bow. I've chosen a one and a half inch quill grain ribbon, and the first step into making that perfect hair bow is to seal your ends. Um, I like using a wood burning tool. I purchased this wood burning tool at Walmart um, approximately three years ago, and it still works fine. Now when using this tool, it's very, very hot. Um, so I like using a metal surface underneath it. Um, this is an old cook sheet, um, cookie sheet, probably of my grandmother's, and it works perfect for me. I also purchased a stainless steel um, ruler at Walmart as well, and this is what gives me that nice clean edge. So let's trim our ends. Now when you do this, you want to push pretty firmly to get through that ribbon, and then it will just slide right over. And if it doesn't, if it gets caught like that, you're just going to run it over it one more time, but you don't want to move your ruler because you want that line to be nice and straight. If for some reason it does become you know, uneven or if you mess up, you can always just move down a little bit more and, and try it again. So I'm going to do my other end. Now if you do this properly, your end should not fray. If you're using a satin ribbon or a double ruffle ribbon, you won't need to push as hard. Um, and you'll, you'll learn um, when you're cutting the, the ribbon with the tool, you know, how much pressure to, um, to use. Now when you purchase this tool, you're going to get several tips to the end of the tool. And you want to make sure that you're using this one with a slanted edge. And you'll just screw those in. Okay. Now the first step um, to my, or my second step to my boutique care bow is you're going to make your loops. Um, I'm using this polka dot ribbon and if you're using a print, you always want to have your print facing away from you. So I'm going to make my first loop and I want to make sure that loop is pretty tight. So pretty close to this left hand. If you make it big and loose, then you're not going to have a really nice tight bow. So you're going to make a nice tight loop. I'm going to bring my long tail of the ribbon around and meet my other loop. Okay. Now I've got my tail facing away from me. I'm just going to tuck that in behind me. So it looks like this. And then my short tail to finish my bow will loop over. Now my loops are not perfect as you can see and I'm just going to kind of straighten them out and fix them as you can as well. I've purchased tons of directions for hair bows. None of them are absolutely perfect. You just kind of really find your own niche and what works best for you. So now I'm going to take my needle and thread, and I use a needle and thread to secure my hair bows. Um, this is just a embroidery thread that I purchased at Michael's. I'm going to slide my needle through the middle of the hair bow and pull it through. I'm going to stick it right over the top of that hair bow, and I'm going to pull it. And when I pull that thread, it's going to make my first fold for my accordion fold. And my second one, in order to make that one, I'm pushing with my index finger in the back of the hair bow towards the front and it makes that fold for me again. And I'm going to do that one more time because you want three folds. Now I'm going to take my string or my thread and wrap it around the bow. One or two times works. It really holds it nicely and nice and secure. I'm going to take my needle and run it under my thread and through my bow one time. Pull that securely and trim that thread. So now that I have my bow, how I make them so nice and perky is I use a stiffener. And the stiffener that I use, um, I, you can purchase this online actually. Um, at beaconcreates.com or you can um, pick this up at 
Michael's. It's the only place that I found it at Michael's. I will say that it's really sticky, so you want to use a towel underneath your surface before spraying this. So I'm going to spray. I'm going to be pretty generous with it. And I will say you'll go through a lot of bottles of this. For some reason, um, once you get close to the end of the bottle, it just doesn't work anymore. You want to make sure that you always rinse your um, the top of this and the um, tube out really well with hot water. I think it just the, it just starts to build up and it just sticks. Okay, so I've sprayed my bow. Now to set this quickly, I take I use a hair dryer. It's an old hair dryer. You're gonna have to excuse me for a minute because you won't be able to hear me. But you can see all of the gunk has built up on this hair dryer. So you want to use something that's old. You don't want to use your hair dryer that you use every day. And I just hold my bow down and dry. So now that I have my bow um, and it's done, we're going to attach it to your choice of a clip. You can use an alligator clip. I like these small little French clips. I think they hold best. You're going to remove your center of the French clip. I'm going to apply a little bit of hot glue on the bottom of the clip. And turn your bow over and just apply it. And hold it for a few seconds and you're going to put in your center. You can use a 3 8 ribbon to tie that center off. If you're going to be applying some type of embellishment that's best. If you use the 3 8 center you don't want something that's bulky and big. If you're going to be layering this bow there's no need for a center. Now this is going to be your nice um, knotted center. I use a 7 8 ribbon because it gives you that nice fat knot. I'm going to loop it over like the awareness ribbon and tie it, tie a knot. And what you want to do is when you're tying this knot, fold this 7 8 ribbon, these tails, in half and that gives you that pretty knot. Now in order to secure this, I use a little bit of hot glue so I know that it's not going to move on me. So I just secure that. I'm going to do this other side. Okay, so your, your knot is loose, but that's okay. That's what gives it that nice um, effect in the middle. If you pull it too tightly, I mean it's up to you, you can pull it tighter. It gives you a more pinched look. I just like a nice open knot. So I'm going to apply a little bit of glue. Stick that right in the center of my bow and pull it tight. You want to kind of make sure it's centered good. And I've pulled it. And I'm just going to flip that over. I'm going to trim my ends. Now I like to use my um, wood burning tool again to make sure these ends are nice and sealed. And it literally will melt your ribbon. So you can, oops, sorry, pinch that together and fix that. So then I'm just going to finish my bow off with a little bit of glue. Hold that on there for a few seconds to make sure it's secure. I'm going to put my back back into the bow and flip it and turn it over and there's your perfect boutique hair bow. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Don't forget to check out my website, lovemenot.com. Have a great day.